Yo guys, you know it's your boy Renji back again with another voiceover video. And in case you're new to the channel, we just dropped a pretty fun stream of uh, me and my bro just doing some rec room. If you don't know what that game is, I recommend going to his channel, subscribing, liking his videos. It'll give you an explanation. But with the promotion out of the way, oh, by the way, make sure you guys like, subscribe, and share too. Um, unless you live under a rock or something, you haven't been keeping up with what's going on, you would know that today at night, at least where I'm at, it's nighttime, so I got this information literally at night, you would know that it's been announced slash, room, slash rumored right now that Silver Surfer is going to be gender swapped. And he's going to be a woman now. And... <laughs> When I tell you, I cannot tell you how disappointed I am with Marvel right now. Like, I cannot put it into words. At least not for this specific video. At least not for this one. But believe me, I'm highly disappointed because Silver Surfer, when I was first introduced to him, was in Superhero Squad. And that used to be my thing when I was a, a little kid, bro. Like, <laughs> Silver Surfer was my favorite character in that show. And even... When I got to like my teen years and when I really started getting into Marvel then, it made me like look up his lore. Like I was really into the character. Like his comic stories were cool to me. His him working for Galactus was a cool storyline for me. And I I just love this character, man. And to see how Marvel's how Marvel is treating him, it's and the thing is they even announced this as the Marvels is crashing and burning right now. Like, if you're one of those people that keep up with the, at least for your favorite, like, genre of movie, if you're interested in their box office performance, the Marvels, I'm not even going to give you those, give y'all the specific numbers. You can literally go and find that. But just to give y'all an estimate on how bad it is, the Marvels is being compared to Morbius, my guy. Morbius! Morbius, bro. I'm going to say it one more time for y'all. Morbius! The Sony flop, even though I person me personally, I enjoyed that film, but I do understand why people don't like it. I do understand I do understand that. That's a one that's one movie I will always hear like I, I'll never say you have a bad take with Morbius if you like it or if you don't like it. That's just the movie I'm really neutral on. But at least it's not at least I had a good time watching it. Unlike the Marvels. Like, I'll tell y'all right now, I didn't go see the Marvels. I just caught it on the TikTok Live when someone was streaming it. And <laughs> it, it, I, just to see Marvel in this state, quality-wise, is it, it, it's just baffling to me, man. Like, And it's like, I thought they were really course-correcting because a lot of stuff was getting delayed. And on top of that, um... Deadpool is going to be the only movie we get in 2024, Mar Marvel-wise. So I'm like, maybe, maybe they're getting their feet off the ground. Maybe they're finally getting their heads out of their butts, and they're finally getting their leg up, so to speak. But nope, Silver Surfer is going to be a woman. <laughs> Silver Surfer is going to be a woman. Wow. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Like, my... The, if Marvel keeps going down this path in terms of like quality and content, unless it's Spider Man related, I I don't I don't know. It's gonna be hard to get me in the theater unless you like really wow me with something. Unless you announce like a World War Hulk movie or something like that, something crazy in that regard, y y you're gonna have a hard time getting me in that seat, man. Or unless it's something my little bro wants to see or some my friends want to see. If you're, if it's like just me, like you're gonna have a hard, really, really hard time getting me in that seat, bro. Cause not only, I was disappointed with Secret Invasion, I was mixed on She Hulk. Moon Knight was good, Shang-Chi was good. The Marvels, y'all know that sucked. <laughs> I'm, I'm just tired of. The quality of my favorite universes, at least Marvel and DC, just bombing right now. 
Cause I'll tell I'll tell y'all straight up. Like right now, if if I need like some superhero good superhero stories, I'm either watching my hero, or like right the second I'm literally about to watch Invincible. It's gonna be one of those two because at least I'm getting some good superhero origin stories out of those two things. But long story short, y'all, to wrap up this video, I'm disappointed beyond measure with this. Let me know how y'all feel, and. Man, we gotta cross our fingers for the for some of these MCU movies, man. What whatever they want to do next, and you really want to try to look forward to it, cross your fingers. Do not have expectations. Be casually optimistic. Just, just to avoid disappointment. Like remember what, remember what MJ said. If you expect disappointment, you won't be disappointed. That's how I'm gonna approach the MCU from now on. But, hey, Aquaman 2 at least looks interesting. It looks way more interesting to me than the first one. I know that might be a hot take, but um, to me, the first Aquaman movie didn't really uh, captivate me story-wise. But the action in the first one was amazing. Stellar. Loved it. But let me know how y'all feel about this Silver Surfer news. I, I'm so done, man.